All right, you guys, so we are live streaming. It is day three, and um, mm -hmm. my tummy is really pretty swollen with like air and gas and stuff, but I haven't been oh able- Oh my gosh, that is a terrible angle. Well, it's not a terrible angle. It's what my stomach looks like. <laughs> <laughs> it looks fake almost. Um, anyway, and we're live streaming here. You so want to say hi to the live hi. stream? You guys, right now, that just happened. Boom! Thank you, Strange Bird, for the 400 light. Hey, everyone's saying hi. That's so nice of everybody. I love when we live stream and vlog at the same time. It's so fun. Um, thank you, Diane. So anyway. Um, Hey, vlog. Today is the first day I can shower after Mike, my surgery, hey, hey, and I'm really so excited about arms. that. So I'm going to jump in the shower right now, and then we're going to be taking off these bandages. Um, Hashtag triggering my kaipi. Thank you so much for the thousand bars. So yeah, I'm going to take off the bandages, and we're going to do it on hey, live stream, hey. and we're going to vlog it for the people that miss the live stream. They can watch the vlog and see it happening also. So that's what we're about to do. I'm going to jump in the shower. BRB. Thank you, Alana, for the thousand bars. Okay. Yeah, you're like <clears throat> dripping blood. I am? Oh. Yeah, do you have some more stuff? It's fine. All right, Holly, thank you for the 400 likes. We're live and streaming right you. now, you guys. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, can everybody see or no? Patience, thank you for the 400 likes. I can't tell if you guys can see or not. Can you see your dripping blood? It's not even that much, it's just a little bit. You need a shower chair. We can mostly see, but the bar bottom is hard to see. Okay, so you okay, want to Okay, so get... I'm going to start with the belly button. Alright, Do you want are. me to bring the computer closer? Uh, no. Tracy, thank you for the 400 likes. I'm scared, you guys. Alright. Thank you, Lila Gore, for the thousand bars. Yeah, just hold yeah, the other part of your skin here, down. What if I go here? Is that better? Can you guys see? Just hold your skin down when you're pulling it up. Ooh. Oh my god. <gasps> Did he fuck up my belly button? No. I don't think so. Oh my god, my belly button looks really not good, guys. I mean, I don't know. Oh my god, I'm gonna freak out if you fuck I can't, it's down. hard for me to see from over here. Wait, the <clears throat> steering strips, there was no steering strips. Uh oh, am I so sure I was supposed to take this off? Well, you have stair strip, you can see the other ones. Uh oh. Um. I mean, I don't think you're supposed to leave band aids for too, too long. No, but I thought there were supposed to be stereo strips. Well, there is a stereo strip on the one side right there. You can see it. All right, let's try this <clears> one. <throat> Someone said we need that nurse. Can you guys see? Thank you for the 500 bars, Rebecca. This one just hurts because it's pulling the hair out on my body. I'm just gonna freaking rip it. No, right? no, no, no. I wouldn't do that. I mean, unless you really want to, but. You guys see better now? You just don't want to yank it where it like pulls the rest of this the skin and the stair strip and stuff. Yeah, but. I mean, if you try to yank it fast. Okay. All right, two down, one to go. This one's like a little... That one's in a fairly sensitive area, I Not would say. Not only that, but like my, <coughs> uh, my underwear are like going to be... It's going to be hurting it. Oh, this is not fun, guys. Is, that, is this going to be banned because it's almost showing the vagina? I almost saw your vagina. I'm like shaking. I don't know if you guys can tell or not. This one's just a little... I'm getting really hot. Is it hot in here or is it just me? You're just getting nervous. <sighs> yeah, I am getting... I think it's just like... 
I need a little breather. Any last words? I hope I don't pass out. <laughs> nice. Huh. Hold on, guys. I'm going to just take it easy for a second because it's starting to get a little hot. <laughs> um, is it, are you sure it's not just getting hot in here? I mean, the air is on. I'm like sweating. I'm about to go stick my... Oh, okay, Mercedes, thank you. What a wonderful distraction. <clears throat> wow, 46,000 likes. It's the monkey. Okay. hey -o. I'm definitely having a panic attack or something. I don't feel good. Thank you, Kay Mercedes, so much. Kay Mercedes, thank you. I'm not feeling good at all, actually. Okay. Well, Do you want me to get you some on? water? I'm having a panic attack, I think. Okay. Do you want to sit down? I just need to breathe. Everything's okay. I'm okay. Do you want me to make a joke? Um. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Just give me a second. Well, I mean, I, I can, I, you can come stand where the air conditioning is. I'm going to put my head in the freezer, I think. Okay. So, do you... Okay, so this is what my belly button incision looks like. Um, this still has a stereo strip. This looks like a little bruise, but you can't really tell, but you could kind of see where the cut is. And then here you could see where... The cut that they made is there. And yeah, my mom says that it's pretty like bruised and swollen, but that it should go down. And I'm hoping that my belly button looks halfway normal, but that's just me being vain. But yeah, I just wanted to show you what it looks like. Hey, you guys. So it's the next day. Um, I don't really remember like where we stopped filming. Oh, I think I showed you guys some of my incisions because I had a bit of a panic attack yesterday um when I got out of the shower and stuff my mom said it was like some vasovagal thing I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly but like where like your blood pressure drops and you start to get like really hot and dizzy and you don't feel good and she says it's normal like for that to happen sometimes like when you see incisions or whatever it's so weird because I went to nursing school I used to like never be scared of that stuff and now like it like really grosses me out it's the weirdest thing how when you get older like things change but um what's it called so last night I had again a little bit of trouble sleeping um, but I slept better because I actually fell asleep and then would wake up and like fall asleep like the night before I like could couldn't fall asleep but something really creepy not creepy but like something not good and kind of scary that happened in the middle of the night was I had taken my band-aids off and only one of my incisions had stereo strips on them I don't know if like they forgot to put stereo strips on or they just thought oh these ones don't need it or what but the uh, incision like right down where my pubic bone is in my sleep last night I must have scratched it and it I, I woke myself up from the pain because I was I was like ow like and I don't really know what I did but I looked down and I realized like I must have accidentally scratched like the the incision and it started it opened up and started bleeding and so I had to like wake up poor Travis and ask him if he could get me like you know a band-aid or whatever um, and so and I was so tired because I hadn't been sleeping very much that like I literally just like put a band-aid over it and went back to sleep um, because I was just so tired and my temperature I had like a low-grade fever I think it's in like 99.1 but they tell you to check it and so today it was a 99.4 so I'm not trying to like freak myself out or again, or not again, but like I'm trying not to freak myself out, but I'm just like waiting it out and just making sure that it doesn't go up. Um, Cause that would suck. <laughs> I don't want to go back to the hospital after just having surgery to have like IV antibiotics because I got an infection. That would really be 
horrible. So I'm just hoping that that didn't make it worse by me scratching it with like my dirty hands. They're not dirty, but like I've been touching my phone and like my computer and you know, I don't sanitize everything. So technically my hands are probably dirty from just like, you know, touching electronics and stuff. But anyway, that's kind of what's going on now. Um, I really don't like the pain medicines. They make my head feel really foggy and like, I just don't like the way they make me feel. Um, so hopefully I won't have to be taking them anymore, um, you know, soon here. But anyway, that's just kind of an update. I was I tweeted today that um, I really want to like, being on bed rest sucks. Like I really want to like get up, like I really want to film a beauty video and I'll like play with makeup. I feel like that would make me feel better. And so I was joking, I'm like, what do you guys think I should do like a bed rest get ready with me <laughs> like nobody gets ready when they're on bed rest like if anything they brush their teeth and like wash their face with like a rag or something you know like a sponge bath but like no one does makeup in their hair on bed rest at least I don't think so I mean I wouldn't um because it'd be like hard to get it off and stuff but I thought it might just be fun because I'm bored and I don't know what else to do so I don't know um, I'm not technically bored. I've been like helping Travis list stuff on my Poshmark. We put like a bunch of like beauty stuff on there. Um, and like, I need to start putting clothes, but yeah, we've been listing a bunch of stuff on Poshmark, which is really nice to like detox the house. We just have so much stuff. It's ridiculous. And like, I buy a lot of like beauty stuff and then I get all of it sent to me also. So it's like, I have double of everything. Um, and I've already given away. So like, we've done so many giveaways. I've given away like the tart. Tartus Pro Palette, like, um, like a ton of tart makeup, milk makeup, you know, like good stuff. Like I've given away like a lot of it on like my you now live streams. Um, we've also donated a ton of like makeup and beauty stuff and I still have like a bunch of stuff left over. So that's the stuff that we're putting on posh. Um, so yeah, we're just like, that's just like kind of what we've been doing. Um, I think we're going to film an update video for the main channel. I haven't been really posting very much on there just once a week because it's been really that channel is really messed up with YouTube like nobody's seeing the videos and it's crazy I have like over a million subscribers on that channel and my vlog channel gets way more views it's like it doesn't make sense you know it's weird but anyway so yeah that's kind of what's been going on recently and I'm just trying to heal up and get better that's about it. One good thing about being on bed rest is I could still promote my videos because I just need my computer and my phone. So this is for my beauty channel. If you guys want to check that out and subscribe, you should. There's actually some good videos on there. Let me show you. 60,000 subscribers, which I'm so happy about. But like this video is so funny. It has been slays my makeup. And then this one did pretty well. The power of makeup. Um, Get ready with me before and after. Like, girl... Look at that before, it's so funny. Um, but yeah, like, there's a lot of, like, really funny videos on the beauty channel, so... Wait, is this all blurry the whole time? Whoa. Uh, yeah, anyways, this is my beauty channel, just under Rose Beauty. I post every Saturday, and be sure to go subscribe. So, you guys, we have all this Poshmark stuff to be shipping out, and my wonderful husband is about to go ship out all these packages. Thanks for everyone that's bought stuff. Okay, honestly, guys, I have no idea. Like, I have been vlogging, but I have not been a good, like, doing, I have not been doing a good job of, like, vlogging, like, one day and then ending the vlog. It's been, like, a few days. But I wanted to check in, let you guys know I'm doing better. Each day I'm healing and getting better, so that's really good news. And I think probably by tomorrow, I will be completely off bed rest and like walking around. We'll see. I don't want to get my hopes up or anything, but um, I'm feeling a lot better today. So I just want to keep you guys updated, let you know. And yeah, I think that's it. So thanks for watching this vlog. I will keep you guys posted and continue to vlog and let you guys know what, what's going to be going on. What's our next step in fertility and all that stuff. So stay tuned. I love you guys. I'm sending you all my love and all my positive energy. And I hope to see you in my next video. Mwah.